Hey there everyone, thank you for coming on by. This is Chris from the Tech Basement, coming to you once again from the basement. Today, we're gonna take a look at the ROG Strix X570i gaming motherboard. Yes, it's micro ATX, and yes, I'm wanting to get into micro ATX to lessen my footprint. So, uh, this is just gonna be a simple unboxing. So let's get into that real quick. Okay, first of all, we have the motherboard right here. Nicely packaged, by the way, uh, as Asus does normally. Um, I really haven't had a motherboard that hasn't been packaged really nice from Asus. I've been an Asus motherboard person for quite a few years, matter of fact. I've used only a couple others and I've been really impressed with them and I do recommend them for the most part. If you're going for their RGB, things like that, everybody's having problems with their software with them and things like that. So it's just, I, I do not use any of the RGBs. So that, that doesn't really matter me to me. So I just don't really, uh, concern myself about it but if you do look around see what you can find uh, for rgb but that's that's not my focus with computers now what we're looking at here is our itx motherboard it has not a passive but uh, a fan to cool the vrms uh, and there's quite a few underneath there which is really good because I'm going to be putting a 3900X on here. So you have your regular, uh, just two RAM slots there, your 24 pin, all that other good stuff. So you, one thing that this board does not have that I'd really like to have seen it have is 3.1 on the motherboard but it only has 3.0 3.0 sorry 3.0 and it will uh, handle uh, 3000 series as well as well as the upcoming 4000 series um, CPU so that's a good thing as well dual m.2s so that's a good thing right there the only thing I'd like to see, but I know it's on the other motherboard. I can't, it escapes the name of me, uh, but it's about $100 more and you can get a little more features on there. Another uh, PCI slot, if not two, don't quote me on that, but it, I think it's one or two more. I know it's one, but maybe two uh, PCIe slots. Uh, let's see, everything's standard here. You have your two SATAs right here. Um, you have your RGB, you have your fan coolers. But uh, if you want to see any in-depth reviews on this motherboard and what it can handle, what it can do, look around on the internet. It's that This is not the place right here. This is just unboxing a brief overview of the motherboard as well as what you get in it uh, the quality uh, let's see you have some more heat sinks on the back here that looks like um, on this area right here you have all your different uh, usbs uh, usb 3.0 uh, 3.1 your c another 3.1 let me see here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think one of them is also a, a backup or uh, what the heck is it called? Recovery uh, for the motherboard if you need to do the, the BIOS update when you don't have the correct CPU. So there you go. There's that. You have your, your six. Your Wi-Fi 6 here, you have your basic audio on here. Uh, I, I'm not sure if they went with the just basic audio or the other on this with this. So I'm not sure exactly what they've gone on that. I don't use that. I use my own audio. I use a Steel Series headset and I use the software for that. 
So I, I that doesn't even concern me. Uh, we have a display port and a HDMI port. That's all the ports on the back here. So I'm gonna put this up over here. And by the way, what my plans for the board right now is, is just air cooling it. I am not going to put it on water as of right now. Okay, so let's dive further into this and what's in the box. First of all, we have the Wi-Fi 6 antennas. Uh, what's this little doohickey? Uh, it looks like the screws for the uh, dual M.2s. Of course, you also have your two um, SATA cables. What is this? Looks like your audio for the front panel. And your RGB cables. And it looks like there are two more SATA cables. I thought there was only two SATAs on there. Why did I get four cables? Oh, there's two more here. Sorry, I missed those. So there's four uh, SATA ports on this motherboard. Silly me. Okay. Then you have your back plate. Now let's see, what does this say? <laughs> Okay, standard back plate. And a screw, this is really weird. A screw with a mini wrench. And a screw doesn't look like it would attach to the wrench. I'm not sure what's going on there. I might have to look at the manual for that one. Now well, let's see, we have some zip ties. Uh, what's this that has to be packed so nicely? Hmm. What I have not seen that I've seen with a lot of my Asus boards is a adapter. Uh, my last board, which is in here, the Crosshair uh, 6, uh, three, it's the 370. That one did not come with one as well. Oh, I stand corrected. It does have one there. So I'm just wondering what this is. I'll have to check that out. It looks like it might be, let's see here, let's let's see, because that's not something I saw on here. Hmm. Well, this is funny. I've done some, I've done a, another ITX build for my daughter. Crazy thing is, I can't see where things plug. Oh, it's right down here. Okay. Yeah, that's it, I believe. Okay, now what's going on here is that the cable I was just looking at, I believe, uh, will plug into right here, just underneath your 24 pin. So that is probably where it's gonna go. That's the only place I can see that it would go. And the pin, the pinning looks correct for that as well. Let's see what else we have in here. Well, it looks like a couple other M.2, another M.2 um, screw. Oh, let's see here. Oh, oh, that's nice. Of course, the manual. Oh, all right. Now, if you were using a DVD, or had a DVD player. There you go. I don't know why they have those anymore. And then let's see, cable mod. Once again, cable mod discount, 20% off. Let's see, I wonder if they own stock in cable mod because I tell you what, I have got nothing, nothing but cable mod. Oh what you want to call them, codes, every time I get a board. So, you know, 
that's something. Uh, let's see here. Republic of Gamers. Thank you for purchasing it. Just a thank you little card. You know, it's, it's standard with Asus's uh, Republic of Gamers motherboards. Uh, let's see here. If you need technical support, let's see. They got your back. They even gave you a whole paper full of technical support numbers, addresses, all that good stuff there. Okay, let's see here. Doom, 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 doom. One last thing here. Come on. And this is always the yay woo thing for me. Not really. I'm not a real big sticker person. I do like my stickers, but it's not that big of a deal. But here is the stickers. I haven't seen them on any builds that I've seen. So, you know, but uh, it's rather interesting. I like to see them sometimes. Uh, you can over here, here's your cable labeling if you want to do that stuff like that i find that uh you're putting things it's just like server room if you put stuff like this in or on your your stuff eventually it is going to it is going to uh, come on done and then get stuck in the fans things like that so you know i it, for things for stickers that are inside I'm not such a fan for it. Outside, if you want to do it, great, fantastic. Just don't see it as something that you should do on the inside. But that's my own little, my own little uh, thought on that. So there you go. Uh, that's the unboxing of the uh, Asus ROG, ROG Strix X570i gaming board. And I'm looking forward to building with this. Uh, my next video will be explaining what I'm doing, why I'm doing this whole thing. So stay tuned for that. If you have any comments, please put them down below. Hit that like button. It helps me out. It helps me get more discovered. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the, the subscribe button. Hit that bell. And this is Chris saying out.